Last night's sudden flooding has emergency response teams busy trying to assist Norwood res residents who have been evacuated from their apartments, and it hasn't been easy. As our Scott Wagoner tells us, even some of the Red Cross's emergency shelters were flooded as well. He's really trying to make the American dream happen by ourselves. Brinton Cockrell had been working hard to provide for his new family. He's really living independent. Sunday morning was looking good. And everything was fine. Then the rains came. Up to five inches in just a few hours at the Maple Avenue apartments was like a kick to the kneecaps. The flood happened and here we are. All 23 apartments in Cockrell's building evacuated after the lower level flooded. Clothes and property destroyed. We had to fight to get some people out from the bottom. Yeah, we've been quite busy today. Volunteers from the American Red Cross came in to help with temporary shelter, but even they were staggered by the weather. The organization reached out to their go to shelters. But some of them have also experienced flooding. So this afternoon, instead of giving out addresses to safe havens, volunteers have been scrambling to find new shelter for the victims. We don't know the uh, location yet, but as soon as we have that, we're going to put it up on social media. And many of the residents may need more than the Red Cross can cover. Apartment manager Christopher Summer tells me the building wasn't covered for flooding. There is zero. Insurance that's legally able to be covered. He's not sure the owners can afford to repair the structure. If this is out of pocket, it's catastrophic. Still, residents like Cockrell say nothing will stop him from picking up and moving forward. Well, I know I can make it through. It's just a matter of how. Scott Wagoner, nine on your side, Norwood.